I'm Rebecca Spinler. I'm the Executive Manager for Science and Conservation at Bush Heritage Australia. We own about 1.24 million hectares of land around Australia and we work with our Aboriginal partners working on their land, Indigenous protected areas for another 10 million hectares around Australia. And we work with agriculturalists and, and various other partners around the country to bring the total land that we have influence over to about 11.3 million hectares. That land is represented by the vast majority of habitat types. So it's grassland, wetland, forest, rangeland, and even sea country with our Aboriginal partners. What excites me about working for Bush Heritage is the absolute solution-oriented approach. The way we understand what is important, what are the threats to those things and how we go about mitigating those threats and really building value in what is important, the fundamental biodiversity and ecosystem function and structure of all of the different habitat types where we work in Australia. The conservation standards have been absolutely fundamental in helping guide that. So by defining what's important first and for our reserves, we do that and we do that wherever possible in collaboration with our traditional owners. The Bush Heritage recognises that as you stand on Australian soil, you're standing on Aboriginal land. So wherever possible, when we're trying to define for ourselves and our own reserves what's important, we bring our traditional owners into that conversation so that we can gain the best that we can from their knowledge and their aspirations for what we do on that country. This has been a, a fundamental framing, I think, for a lot of our collaborative discussions as we go through working with NGOs and government and, and universities of how best to prioritise land for conservation and how best to manage that land. The conservation standards by helping us be really clear and making visible what is material to us has put back the focus on the function of biodiversity, the structure of biodiversity, and the value of biodiversity writ large, rather than just focusing very much on the threats. It's also helped us build a much more consistent approach, really, across all of our reserves, with our partners as well, wherever they want to, take up that structure so that we're all talking the same language. We understand what it is that we're working towards, and we understand how to measure it, and one of the things that I think we, we're working towards is building that understanding of right way science and how each of us can monitor those things that are important using a blend of both traditional knowledge and Western knowledge. There are lots of things that are common across our Indigenous protected areas where we work and our reserves. And if we can use that blended approach to understand what, what healthy country really looks like, then that's going to be fundamental and it's the conservation standards that have given us that framework.